listen, listen. Forget all about that. Arsenal. Yeah, looking forward to it, actually. I tell you it's what. It's a big game, isn't it, Big really? test, John. Great test. You must be... We have to get that game, that silly game, on Tuesday against West Ham out of the way. We had a decent result, decent performance. But then you move on to Arsenal. That's the, that's the most important for it's me. It's the sort of game that fans at home really look oh, forward to. Oh, well, we're Arsenal with a with a tradition, with a nutty manager. Um, and, and, you think and he's nutty, really? I do, Manga, a wee do bit. I do. Really? Aye. I quite like him, but yeah, I think I, he's a wee bit nuts. Yeah, I remember being there. I, I remember going to uh, going to Highbury as it was then, right. and, and and seeing him afterwards. He always seemed like a very very together sort of bloke. But recently, with the stuff going on with you know Mourinho, Mourinho and stuff, yeah, you kind of wonder hands. about it. I kind I kind of get that not shaking hands before a game. Cause a well, player, you never you never did. I never did. No, no. As a player, no, no. Why would you shake somebody's hand? Sportsman, who you're going to go and it? smash. In the next five minutes, and you're going to make his life yeah, but hell. Dif- Why she? Hey, yeah, pal, hang on a minute. There you are. I'm going to break your neck in half an hour. <laughs> yeah, but when you're See a you manager, you're, you're in a different position to. Excuse to the me players. a minute, John. Yeah, you've got to pick that up. Haven't you Drop dropped it. Right. I know, but if you're a manager, you're representing the the club, so are so you? So the players. The players no, are representing the club. I no, I don't. I, I don't buy into that. But anyway, on the Arsenal, two players sent off. Yeah, on yeah. Um, you could say that the one that involving. Costa was a little bit. What do you think about that? I because think they were both. To I didn't think it was Costa. a sending. I didn't think it was a sending off. Uh, that, that, well, <laughs> there's one. There's one good reason why we can say no sends off, and that's hello, Mike Dean, the worst referee that there ever has been. Just made that up. Very good. But he's awful. I mean, yeah. at our place, I said afterwards the Mike Dean show, Garth Crooks, Robbie Savage, all the punters, they're all after him. There's a petition at Arsenal. To get them banned. Let me send it to me. I'll sign it. But well, anyway, two players sent off. You got uh, their names written Gabriel down. Gabriel and Cazorla. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are uh, getting into Costa's ear about the way he plays the game and he does this and does that. I think it's great. I absolutely. You know, if he's in your team, you love him. Hmm. If he's not, you hate him. And I think he's that type of player. But I can see a lot of similarities because he knocks people around. He bullies people. He gets people wound up so that they then start to make mistakes. They then start to try and kick him. They then start to try and stomp on his foot. But that's okay, and into him and all that stuff. But listen, if you're going to do it, don't cry when you get sent off. But yeah, I don't. I, okay, I accept what you're saying about him. But this running to the referee every two minutes. Oh look, referee! I don't look agree what with happened. that. No, that's not I, good. No, I don't agree with that. You know, if you're going to get into the referee, maybe the captain should go. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about Arsenal, not Chelsea, aren't well, we? Well, we're talking about Arsenal because <laughs> they lose two players for Saturday's yeah, game. that's true. You see, there's the yeah. link, John. Yeah, I know there was you've a link. On, you've been out of radio for far but too what, long, son. But what about Arsenal? Welcome back. <laughs> I'm still doing radio. Ah, but what, a, what about the Arsenal, though? Because you never quite know what you're going to get from them, in a way, do you? Well, you know you're going to get... Well, once they, they, they work the ball forward up to the edge of the penalty area and they play brilliant football in and around the 18-yard box. Little spaces, little one-twos, little forward runs. They're incredibly good at that. They're very, very good they at that. They try to pass it into the net, though, they, don't they sometimes? Nothing wrong with that, John. Okay. You know, rather than smashing it too over many, the Too many. What pass. I'm trying to say is too many passes. Perhaps. Well, there's sometimes you can overpass. I understand that. But that's an area that you have to defend. And if you're brave enough, you'll push up a wee bit. You'll get up and get out of your 18-yard box. Get up to the halfway line. And then... Let's not forget, we've got as much, if not more, pace than Arsenal. I was, yeah, I was going to ask about counter-attack, because aren't they a team that you can counter-attack against quite well? Well, and they can do the same to us. Yeah, so, so it should be interesting, it's, shouldn't it's, it? It's, as you say in Scotland, eatsy peetsies. So, they're going to they're gonna come at us, we're going to get at them. It might be, John, the team that defends best mm. on Saturday against the Arsenal that comes out with the points. So, Leicester's team for Saturday, would you make any change? I mean, Dyer might be back in the reckoning now because I think they left him out for, you know, because that knock on the head the week before. Yeah, yeah. So, he probably came I, back I would think play. I would think Dyer will definitely be on the bench. Yeah. He may start, but I, I doubt it because his um, his health is, is the most important thing. So, the same, you know, back, the same, the same back five, you would certainly. I, th- I find it difficult to change, to it, change yeah, it. Exactly. You know, yeah, I mean, we've, yeah. all been, we've all had a say. Oh, there we go again. Um, just Leave it well there. Just now. as well, I'm no Casper Schmeichel. <laughs> um, but uh, 
I forgot what I was going to say. Back then. five. Oh, aye. It's, it, it's difficult to change the team because where we are and we're unbeaten. Yeah. So we can't be doing too many things wrong. And all the supporters say, aye, we're too all at Stoke. And w- w- we're sort of not happy where, we're, you know. But the Albright, it, I mean, you made a comment earlier that Albright and being left out of the starting 11 yeah. surprised you a little bit. It but did surprise me a wee bit, but you've gone away and get a 2 all. You've got a point away at Stoke. How many teams are going to do that? This but the season? tinker man is going to tinker with midfield again, or is he? Go, are we going to see a different strike force and somebody think, else with Vardy? Well, I think I think his, his his team this week in training will be defending, definitely, especially um, in open play. Not so much at corners, free kicks, and stuff. We haven't been too bad with dealing with them, but in free play, picking up runners at certain like that, going with your man, trying to intercept passes and set up an attack instead of getting. You know, mm. putting your defence under pressure. Somebody said to me that Richie Delat and Jeff Sloop are, are getting exposed because Mares and Albrighton, for example, in front of them are going forward, are too, you know, aggressive in going forward rather than getting back to, to, to help them defend. There, 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 there's a sort of point there as well. But And another thing that other people say is that they don't mind if we lose four goals if we score five. I mean, that's the... If you could guarantee that, then yes, we would <laughs> yeah, take that'll it. Be all right, I'd rather yeah, have yeah. a one-nil or a two-nil. You know, I'd rather be two-nil up with a minute to go. That would be lovely, you know. But uh, looking forward to the game, John. I think it'll be an exciting game. Who Mister Wenger puts in, you know, to replace the two lads that are sent off. Let's wait and see what Mister Ranieri does. I think he might just go a wee bit more defensive. I don't know how he personally likes a back three but I think that might be the key yeah if we get a back three in um, probably Rob Huth uh, Ben Aluan and Wes Morgan Fuchs might come in the left side as of a back three or he might play a left wing back but the good thing is from Mr Ranieri's point of view is we're in the top five we're unbeaten we've got Arsenal and he's got a hell of a squad to pick from Okay, and uh, a bit later in uh, another video, we'll be asking about what score you think it's going to be. I always struggle with that. I was got, nearly there. Don't think I got it right yet. Actually. I was nearly there against Aston Villa. But I said three one. You did actually, and you got three two. Yeah. So hi. Watch your right. space, because Youngie knows what the score's going to be. Only kidding. <laughs>